Welcome to an introduction to cryptocurrency. Obviously, you would have heard about crypto over the last few weeks, or you've been looking and wondering what it's all about for probably a couple of years. There are many entry points into cryptocurrency, and many of them are fraught with danger and losing your money. I'm hoping to help clarify some of your direction and what you're wanting to achieve in crypto, give you some really good introductory tips on how you can get involved, keep your money, and get that money growing in what is turning out to be an enormous financial area. This is the Daxi Coffee Chat. My name is Andrew Squillari. I'm a digital asset strategist. I've been working with cryptocurrency for over five years. I've seen the ups and downs, and at the moment, to be honest, I'm very excited about what's happening. I'm a Daxi customer, um, and I have a Daxi coin, so uh, I prefer to use the Daxi exchange to store my cryptocurrency, the blue chips at least anyway. Financial disclaimer, I'm not uh, offering you any investment, financial or trading advice or any other sort of advice. Make sure you go see a financial planner and an accountant. Get good tax structuring advice from those guys. They probably don't have crypto, don't understand it. It's so not going to give you good accurate advice anyway about owning crypto, but they can help you with structuring. And I think you will have a tax problem, a good tax problem, once you understand what crypto can offer you and your family. Now we have this classic wealth area that's been working really well up into pre-COVID when COVID sort of made everything go a bit haywire with the financial areas. Uh, governments are printing lots and lots of money, which is pumping the share market prop and also the property market, especially in Australia. A lot of that money is flowing around everywhere. People are moving out of COVID restricted areas into places that offer more freedom. And uh, that is resulting in more loans, more money floating in the property market and shares. But realistically, they're at the top of their cycle and they are a huge bubble, especially in Australia. And on the opposite side, you've got bank deposits are losing money. The cash rates are down around 0.1% with the prospect of them going negative very soon. And if you do have a loan over in Germany right now, you actually get paid 1% to buy a home. And that's the future that we look at. So you need to ask yourself one really important question. What are you going to do differently in 2021? We've gone and had a really shaky start of the year, a continuation of 2020. So it's really important that you think about how are you going to protect your wealth, how are you going to get your wealth growing again, and how are you going to be um, financially secure in a world of uh, restrictions and masks and financial insecurity, insecurity and governments not really knowing what they're doing with money and how it's affecting the economy generally. So just a, an idea of the cryptocurrency, and we've got this cryptocurrency adoption boom happening right now. So we had a wave one back here, 2019, and everyone knew and understood that cryptocurrency was real then. We had some really good platforms being built um, after that for institutional investors. So now institutional money managers are flooding into cryptocurrency. Companies like BlackRock, Fidelity, MicroStrategies, Grayscale, they're all very big mutual funds that have really put the the face and the stability in cryptocurrency in the marketplace right now, which has caused, of course, the Bitcoin price to pop up to 60,000 Australian dollars, which is its market top uh, considerably since the top back in 2019 was only $26,000. So we're certainly seeing a lot of money move into crypto right now. And on top of that, we've got consumer spending platforms also getting heavily involved with people being able to use and buy their cryptocurrency through these platforms. The biggest one being PayPal, and they've made a really big effect on the supply of Bitcoin to the market because PayPal, MicroStrategies and Grayscale are really swallowing up every single Bitcoin that they can find and the blue chips as well. So they're really having a big effect. So what we're having now is institutional FOMO. So a lot of these big institutions are starting to get involved with cryptocurrency, but the biggest problem is they don't know where to go how to do it and what's safe and what they should be doing. And that's where Michael Saylor's company, MicroStrategies, just, just solved that problem last week. That 7,000 corporations go to this blockchain um, conference last week being the, um, the, the beginning of February and they learnt how to allow their customers to buy cryptocurrency. So 7,000 Mutual funds now have access to the knowledge of how to allow their customers to buy crypto. I think that's going to cause a really big supply problem for cryptocurrency, which of course is going to force the prices up dramatically. On top of that, you've got guys like Elon Musk with his company, 
He's put 15% of his cash reserves into crypto only recently. That happened on the um, the, the 8th of February. And um, that has made a really big effect. That's 15% of their cash hedging against inflation. And already in the first day, that $1.5 billion has gone up to $2 billion with the price action that's happened. So that's uh, good for his company. It's good for his shareholders. And it's good for the world because other CEOs are now looking at what he's done. And it's not a bet. This is sound financial moves forward to using something that is going to allow companies to profit by having money stored in cryptocurrency. So just to go to the market caps, I like to talk about the market caps uh, a little bit. So the total market cap at the moment is 1.7 trillion Australian dollars. And today there was uh, $289 billion worth of cryptocurrency bought and sold around the world. And you can see this number over here, only a few weeks ago, the Bitcoin dominance was up at 70%. We're starting to see this dominant level go down because people are shuffling out of Bitcoin over to some solid alts. So a lot of money is going into Bitcoin, of course, but there's a lot of money flowing through the total market as well. So that's called the alt season. Now, some of the blue chip cryptocurrencies, of course, we're sitting at Bitcoin at $60,000. Today, it's gone up 21%. One of what would the share market be like if it went up 21% a day? Wouldn't that hit the headlines? We've got Ethereum at 2.2, um, up 7.5% today, 25% for the week, which is pretty good for the second biggest cryptocurrency. And the third one of our blue chip bundles we like is Litecoin. It's $218 per coin, and it went up 12% this week and 25% for the month. So, uh, sorry, 12% today and 25% for the week. So. Those are the ones that we like. They're solid. They're very liquid. They're very big coins. Been around for a long time. That's why we return, refer them to as blue trip cryptocurrencies. So just to talk about Bitcoin in itself, three months ago, just before Christmas, you can imagine three months ago, it was, seems like a long time, but three months ago, one Bitcoin was worth $21,000, and now it's up 185% to 60 k so imagine your savings, your super, your bank accounts going up 185% in, a, in three months. And also Ethereum, it's gone up 264% from $615 right up to $2,246. So again, that's a monster improvement in your savings accounts. And the last one is Litecoin. I love Litecoin. It's up 152%. It was only $83 and now it's $222 today. So, you know, this is real money. This is money that could have been in your bank account not doing anything, but it's been moved over to cryptocurrency like uh, Elon has done, and he's made 25% you know, on his money in a day or 30% on his money in a day. So very, very good times for those people that take action and learn and get involved. Now, I like the Daxi platform because we're the world's first wealth creation platform. It's crypto made easy. You, you talk to someone and you're scared about security, you're losing your money, well, cryptos and Daxi have been combined now to have an A-plus security yeah. rating. So you can get involved with exchange that's got some really good security. They've got some great community around the place where we learn about cryptocurrency through webinars, through meetups, through conversations and training provided online. So you can learn about cryptocurrency. So you develop some confidence in cryptocurrency. And of course, you can benefit from that confidence by making wise decisions about what you're doing financially into the future. And what I like most about Daxi is we're going to have an integrated 100 platforms all putting in crowdfunding allowing us to um, help and fund startup companies, get them operating using blockchain. So we're protected, the company's protected, and we can all benefit from using blockchain in startups. So that's a really good future use case for the Daxi platform globally. Now, Daxi has also made it really easy by providing three different bundles. We've got a wealth creation bundle. It's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, some Daxi coin, plus an additional 10% coins on top. And of course, if you look at the investment returns for last year, had you bought um, a savings account, if you've got money in savings accounts, it's under 0.35%. The ASX is up 1%. Um, real estate, 1.5%. It's probably jumped a fair bit little lately with real estate in Australia. Gold's 18%. Bitcoin's 300%. And the bundle program has gone over 400%. Of course, in the last few days, that's probably a lot higher now than it was a few days ago. We have a wealth protection program now, which is precious metals. So if you're not really confident with crypto, you can actually get some precious metals um, as a token, and those metals are stored in the Perth Mint. Again, you get platinum, silver, gold, Daxi coin, and additional 10% coins on top of that. And the last one is the wealth transformation. This is the coin that I love the most because it's going to be used for crowdfunding, and I love that aspect of what Daxi is doing. 
you buy the DAX, DAXI coin, and at the moment you get a 50% extra allocation of coins. Now, what's happening on the 24th of February? That is reducing. So if you purchase the DAC pack after the 24th of February, you are going to get 66,000 less coins. So that's a big change. Instead of getting 40% extra coins, 50% extra coins on that Wealth Transformation DAC pack, you're only going to get 40. So if you were to purchase a $10,000 DAC pack, you are going to get a lot less coins. If you were 1,000, of course, you're going to get a lot less as well. So that percentage of coins you're getting is going to be reduced after the 24th of February 2021. Now, how to buy is pretty easy. Someone would have shared this video with you or you would have talked to someone about cryptocurrency and found the DAC platform somehow. You'd open up an account. Firstly, you would order up one of the programs. You have the blue chip bundle, buying those four coins, the precious metal bundle, or the DAC pack. Buy it. Put your order in, so telling DAX your intention to buy. You then go through, put in the amount there. Click next. The next part is create an account. So your email address you want associated with the account. You can't open up a company, trust, or a super fund accounts with DAX as well. So putting in an email address. Each account has to have its own individual email address. 12-digit password, one capital, one number, and one symbol. Read the terms and conditions, please. Don't just tick it mindlessly. Make sure you read that. If you know the, the email address of the person that introduced you, if it's not auto-filled in there, please put that in there. That helps with the uh, referral program. And sign up for an account. Once you've opened up your account and verified your account and Daxi receives your money, your coins will be allocated automatically. If you do want to buy more coins, which you more likely will as you develop some more confidence, Click on the top up bundle button. The money will go into your wallet over here and then you'll see it as an allocation via an email getting advice. Go to the buy and sell and buy one of the programs that you wish from there or individual coins if you wish as well. It's a very sim simple process. So congratulations, you've switched over having some Aussie dollars in cryptocurrency. You're out of the system like 15% of Elon's businesses and a lot of uh, micro strategies in Grayscale. So you're joining the race uh, to put money in the cryptocurrency and enjoy the rewards of what they're doing right now. Thank you for being open to learning, plan for the future, but take action now. Get involved with the learning, get involved with the Daxi community, get some confidence, go to daxi.com, go what do we do tab, go to the learn area there, go through that uh, customer learning area, go to the Daxi Global Facebook pages, the Daxi Global YouTube, and you can go to my personal YouTube channel called New Wealth Strategies. Subscribe and get notifications and you too will keep in touch with what's happening in the world of crypto. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.